Hey there, YouTube. What's up? Big Stack McGee here with a quick silver video for you. Today I'm going to be talking about rare earth magnets. These neodymium magnets are so much more powerful than your average household magnet. The amount of attraction to iron is just, it's uh, very, very deceiving how, how strongly these can attract. Um, this magnet right here is probably good enough to pick up probably about two pounds. It's uh, quite strong. Um, in the case of uh, precious metals, uh, sp silver in particular, here I have a 25 ounce silver bar. Um, these rare earth magnets are vital in helping us to determine whether a piece of silver is authentic or not. Um, I'd like to invite you to check out about.ag's video on testing a 100 ounce Egelhard silver bar versus a silver bar that's been hollowed out and filled with lead and it's the value of one of these is proven completely by that video but suffice it to say that um, rare earth magnets when when you would try to go to a silver bar it's not an attraction necessarily but there is a, a bit of resistance um, they call it a diamagnetic response and uh, it's what causes these rare earth magnets to slide down so slowly on a bar of silver. But that aside, it's just showing you the value of this. I'm going to talk to you a little bit today about how to extract these kind of rare earth magnets out of old, um, worn out and busted up hard drives uh, it's just as a form of salvage. So we're going to get right to it. The tools I'm going to be using today is going to be um, this star pattern um, screwdriver. This is a T9, if that's uh, of any use to anybody. I don't know if you can see that there. And then I like to use uh, some Craftsman Robo Grips for later when I'm actually extracting the, uh, the rare earth magnet from the plate that it's on. Okay, the first step is identifying the different screws that need to be uh, taken care of on the top. We got these six here, and that's with this. Uh, T9 star pattern. So we're going to go ahead and get those off. After those six, there's usually one more underneath the sticker. I can kind of sense that this is where it would be, so I'm just going to scratch that part away. Okay, here we have the opened hard drive, and uh, one of the magnets is right here, so we're going to go ahead and take that off. Um, and incidentally, by the way, I will be uh, recycling this hard drive. I'm going to keep uh, any parts that I might be able to extract uh, some precious metals from later in the future as I learn how to do that. But uh, I do have a, a place that I recycle all of my electronics, so I'm not just going to throw this away when I'm finished. Undo the screws here. I did remove the screws from this platter, uh, unnecessary for this operation. Um, it'll be fun to extract that. But this uh, piece with the magnet here, the first one, is just held in there very strongly by magnetic force. So I'm going to go ahead and lift that out of there with my robo grips here. So there's one there, we'll extract that later. And there's one more hiding here underneath. Okay, so uh, after undoing all of the star uh, screws, I end up with this uh, circuit board here, which I will keep for later uh, salvage. Some nifty platters, very, very reflective, fun for the kids, it's a kind of project for later perhaps. And then I'm left with these two pieces here that have a bracket and then the rare earth magnets that are stuck to them. The best way to get this out is probably to use a vice grip 
clamp one of these and then bend it, and these things can be uh, pried off. Um, I'm going to accomplish the same thing by grabbing either end in one of these and bending it that way in order to extract. creates a gap between the bracket and the rear earth magnet. And I should be able to slide this in between. Voila, rear earth magnet. It does have some adhesive here on the side. I should be able to scrape that off. I'll repeat the process for this one. There you have it, two rare earth magnets. Very, very, very um, attract much attraction in these. And uh, these will be useful for me for a long time to come. Hopefully this information was useful to you. Um, either way, I would just suggest if you have an old hard drive uh, laying around, these uh, magnets can be re extracted relatively easily and uh, have at it. Alright guys, this is Big Stack McGee. Thank you for watching my video. Hope you all have a great day. Take care.